Boys and girls, <laughs> welcome back to Sunday School Crafts. This is lesson four. Our craft is going to be to make a baby Moses in a basket to remind us that God had a plan for Moses and God watched over Moses to make God's plan come out exactly the way he wanted it to come out, no matter how hard it was in the time that Moses was being born. And it was hard, boys and girls, you remember from our Bible study. It was a hard time, but God is greater than any hard time. And he will make his plans come to pass. Okay, so this craft is going to take a lot of drawing and cutting. <laughs> so I'm going to give you some information. One thing at a time I'm going to give you. You might want to write some little notes down while I'm doing it, but I'm going to go over it and I'm going to go over it again. And I'm going to go over it again, okay? So you don't have to remember it all after one thing. So here's what we're going to do. Um, this craft is, it's, it's quite a darling craft, but I don't have my supplies in my house that would be exactly what the craft calls for. So I've just gotten a little bit creative with it. Okay, so this is a piece of just um, turquoise paper, right? It's a, a version of blue. It's the one that I chose because... This circle is going to represent sky, so I liked this color for the sky. Okay, so this circle is seven inches in diameter, and seven diameter is the line right across the middle, right? So if you wanted to get about the idea of the size of the circle, you could say, I don't know, I could use a plate that might be that size, I could use a large bowl that might be that size, whatever, but you can see that it's not quite as large as the whole page, but it's almost that large, okay? So you're going to make one circle, you're going to draw it on there that's a seven inch circle, okay? And then also, which is much harder to see, I want to get closer to the camera, you're going to make a little circle that is two inches in diameter, right? So you're going to make that, and after you make that, you're going to draw a little line, just cutting off part of the circle there, and cutting off part of the circle there, so that's what's left, is an oval or an egg shape, whatever you want to call it, but start by using a two inch diameter circle and then just draw to cut the edges off, okay? All right, then the next thing is also seven inches, draw seven inches, this is green, and um, I don't. it doesn't look green on the camera that I'm looking at, but it's green. <laughs> um, so you're gonna draw a seven inch circle and then you're going to draw, I should turn it this way because this is really the way you're going to do it. You're going to draw a wavy line across below about half of the circle, okay? Just a wavy line, okay? It's going to be a marsh, okay? Trust me. All right, and so this is the part you're going to use, so you won't be using that part, okay? And um, so once again, that's another 7-inch diameter. It's exactly the same size as the blue one because they're going to fit one right on top of the other, okay? Then you're going to need some pink paper, and on your pink paper, see if I can get close enough that you can actually see this. Okay, this is a one and a half inch diameter circle. Okay, I used the bottom, I mean the lid of a glue bottle to make that circle, and you can find something that's about that size around your house maybe. And I also drew two small one half inch diameter circles. And those are about the size of a dime, so you could use the dime, but I actually took the lid off of a marker and used the bottom of the lid to make those two circles. So you use whatever you have at your house to make those. This one is one and a half inches in diameter. These are each a half inch in diameter. So obviously I don't expect you to draw them precise. I'm just giving you that information so that you can see about what size, okay? So relatively, these things need to be about relative size to fit, all right? Now on the one and a half inch diameter circle, this is gonna be baby Moses' head. So you're gonna, before you cut it out, you're gonna draw two little ears. You see those two little ears? So you wanna draw those on there, okay? All right, so then you're also, this um, craft calls for two, colors of brown for the next thing, but I don't have any brown. So I decided to use an orange and a yellow because it calls for a dark brown and a light brown. So I said, well, I'll use orange for my dark brown and um, yellow for my light brown. 
And so what I did was, let's see if I can show this to you. I'm realizing this pencil doesn't show up terribly well on this camera. But these are two, two, and is it right? Uh, two three-inch diameter circles. Okay, so what I did is I drew them overlapping each other. So here's one, and here's another one overlapping it. Not a lot, but overlapping it. Like not half, maybe a little bit less than third, I don't know. And then after you draw those, you're going to draw a line to connect the side of one to the side of the other because that's what you're going to cut out. You're going to cut out around this whole shape and it's going to come out being a little bit of a bean shape. Okay, so I'll show you more about that in a minute. Okay, so that one was three inch diameter circles and the lighter one is two and a half inch diameter circles. Now, for my three inch circles, I used a coffee cup. I used just the bottom of a coffee cup. For my two and a half inch circles, I use the bottom of this um, uh, aerosol can. Okay, so the two and a half inch circles are exactly the same on this yellow. I hope you can see them. But I overlapped, drew one, and then I overlapped it. I drew another one, about the same as the other, about a, a little bit less than one third. And then I drew a line from the side to the side, and that's where I'm going to cut it out. Oh, excuse me. And that's going to give me another bean shape, but it's going to be um, smaller, just a little bit smaller than the other. Now, um, on your, you're going to take a green construction paper and you're going to fold it, right, over and over. All right, so you have now four. And you're going to put your little hand on there like that and you're going to draw around your little hand. Notice anything about my hand? <laughs> it's not little, and so it doesn't fit on the paper. So I had to make myself a cute little hand. So you're going to put your little hand on the paper, and you're going to draw around it one hand. Then you're going to hold it together while you cut it out, and when you're done, you will have one, two, three, four little green hands, okay? All right, and then you're going to draw on a white construction paper, three two-inch circles. Let's see if I can get you to be able to see this. Maybe if I fold this so that I can make it flat to the camera. So it's three two-inch circles. Two of them, you are going to just draw a cloud in. The only reason you have the circles is so that you can see about what size you want your clouds to be. So you want two clouds, and you want them to fit inside of a two-inch circle, okay? But you're not going to cut out the circle, you're going to cut out the clouds, okay? And over here you're going to cut, uh, um, you're going to um, have another two inch circle, and this one you're just going to draw a smooth line across the top of it like that, that cuts it off a little bit more than half. So that when you cut it out, you're going to cut out this and that, and then you're going to have this is what you're going to use. It's going to be the baby Moses shoulders, okay? All right, so I'm going to pause this, and I'm going to cut out all these shapes, and then you're going to have an opportunity to um, see, again, what it is that we needed, okay? So I'm pause it. Okay, all right, so that was a bit of cutting. So let me just go over again what um, we cut out and what you'll be doing when you're working with yours. Okay, so you're going to have some uh, blue construction paper or blue colorful paper. You'll have a 7-inch circle and um, uh, seven inches meaning across, okay, the diameter. So across is seven inches, not seven inches this way, which is another big word, circumference, but we're worried about the seven inch diameter. Made out of that same color, you'll have a circle, whoa, hello, hello, that is a two inch circle, but instead of cutting it out as a circle, you'll draw a little line on each side of your circle so that when you cut out just the little line that you drew on the inside, your circle is here and here, but now you have an oval instead of a circle because you've cut off a little bit of the circle on each side. Then you will also draw a seven inch diameter um, green, and you'll just make a wavy line across, less than half, just a wavy line across. Now just so that you know, when I, you can see on here, the black line where I drew this. But when I use this, I will not be using it that way. I will use it this way 
so that it will just be green and there won't be a black mark on it. Okay. So when I'm using my blue circle, for example, I won't use it on this side where you can see the black marks. I'll use it this way so that you won't see anything but the blue. Okay. And same, same with everything that I cut out. I'll flip it over to where you won't see the lines. Okay. So you'll also have a two inch, um, I mean a one and a half inch diameter pink circle and you remember that you drew the two little ears on it before you cut it out and on this side is where the pencil marks are but you'll be gluing it on to where you can't see those the, this will be against and that will be the face and then you have the two one half inch diameter circles also pink and um, those are cut out and then you'll have the yellow shape that you used you made two circles these circles were two and a half inches each. Is that right? I have to look at it to verify to make sure I'm not giving you the wrong information. Yes, two and a half inches across each. And then you overlapped them a little bit like that. And then you drew a line from the side of one circle to the side of the other so that when you cut it out, it comes out to be a bean shape. Okay? Now, you also have one in your orange color, or in case you had light brown and dark brown, I did not, so I used orange and yellow. These are three inch circles, right? You drew one, then you overlapped it with another one, and then you drew a line from the side of one circle to the side of the other. And when you cut it out, you went around that line that you drew, and it gave you an orange bean shape, okay? And it's a little bit larger than the yellow bean shape. So we'll be using that, and you'll see how we're going to use that to make the basket, okay? And you have four beautiful little green hands, okay? So you've got four of those. I've got four of those, all right? And you have, using a two-inch circle, you made two clouds. The clouds were just, you know, wavy lines, but inside the two-inch circles, so that you have them the size that you want them to be. And get, 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 drop it on the floor. All right, and you also had that other um, two inch circle that you made out of the white. So there were three two inch circles. Two of them became clouds, one, two, and one of them became a circle with the top rounded off. You know, you. You cut, it, you cut it off, but you didn't cut it off straight across. You cut it off a little bit rounded, okay? And this is going to wind up being Baby Moses' shoulders. And I'll show you how that's going to work in just a minute. Let's see. So what do I want to show you next? Okay. I am going to now turn this off and do some gluing. But before I glue, I'm going to show you what I'm going to glue. I'm going to take my blue circle, my big beautiful blue circle, and turn it over so you cannot see the ink marks. Then I'm going to put this green on the bottom. But before I glue it on, I'm going to stick my grass into my marsh. You see? How clever is this? I'm going to use your hands to make grasses on the marsh and you're going to tuck them far in so that you get some of your blue sky is still sticking out up here. Oh, I think I might have made my hands a little too long but it's okay I can cut them off a little bit if I need to. And one more. I can just pick it up. Got it. All right well it might be easier for me if I put my hands together before I try to Stick them in there. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Okay, so I've got my four hands, my four hands together to where they're making little grass. I probably could have done it with just three, really, and it would have come out just great, but I was trying to follow the directions. <laughs> I think four is going to be too many, guys, so I'm going to do it with three just to see if I like that look better. So here's the three. If I put the fourth one in here, it feels to me like it's a little bit too much. But uh, maybe I'll 
I don't know. I'm going to try it with three and see if I like it. I'll glue it on. If I like it with the four, I'll put the fourth one in when I'm gluing. But anyway, they're tucked inside the um, circle, I mean the green, and then at, making sure, and you can always trim it off at the bottom because see how mine are going to be sticking down a little bit, so I'll have to trim that off at the bottom so that it will be smooth. But uh, I think I'm just going to go with three hands because I think four hands is just a little too much. Maybe my hands were a little too big. Your hands are probably smaller and you probably could use all four of them. So I'll be gluing those together and I'll also be gluing my white clouds, one on this side and one on this side. So I'm going to pause the uh, recording and I'm going to glue those things on and then I'm going to come back and show you what's next. Okay. So when I glue my hands on, by the way, I'm only going to glue them on at the bottom because I want them to be loose like grass up here so that I can put my basket in it. Okay. So I'm going to glue my hands on, glue this cover on. I'm probably going to have to trim my little hands off because they're too big. And then I'm going to glue my two beautiful clouds, one on this side and one on that side. Okay? All righty. Okay. So after you've done this, what you've got is you've got your little um, your little basket, right? You've got the dark and the light, so that you have the um, the uh, the idea of a basket, right? The inside of the basket, the outside of the basket. Then you've got your little blue egg, and behind that, first you glue on your first you glue on your white um, uh, thing. So it was a two-inch circle that you cut off part of it, so that it fits behind this guy, right? And so then you put on your little your little uh, pink hands and your little pink head, okay? Now obviously, we're going to give him a little uh, face. I'm just going to make little eyes, a little nose and a mouth. Nothing fancy because I'm not a great artist like some people are. And just a little shock of hair at the top, okay? I'm just going to do that with a marker. I'm going to do it right quick and I'll come right back to you so that you can see exactly what I did, all right? Okay, now for my great artwork. <laughs> All right, so you see I just made little simple nose and mouth and eyes and hair to make him look like a little guy that he is. And now I've got my little marshy area on the Nile River where Moses' mom is going to slip him into that Nile River and his sister is going to stand nearby to see what's going on. And we're going to remember when we look at this that God watched over Moses. He had a plan for Moses' life. And he worked out his plan in the most shocking and wonderful way. And his sister, Miriam, um, the more if you read all through Exodus, you can read all about how things work out for Miriam in the long run, too. And um, how God watched over Miriam. And, um, of course, our story goes on and on to where um, you understand that Moses eventually grows right up fills out God's plan in a most amazing and beautiful way by the grace of God who never quit watching over Moses. Even when Moses made terrible mistakes, God loved him just the same and continued on with the plan that he had for Moses' life. Just like you boys and girls, he's got a plan for your life. He plans to bring it to fruition, meaning he has already decided what his plan is for you. Work with him. That's way better than working against him. <laughs> you don't want to spend 40 years in the desert, do you? Okay, so thank you very much. I hope your craft comes out yeah, so much cuter than mine did. My fingers made some challenges. But anyway, there he is, Moses in the rushes. Thank you very much, boys and girls. I love you very much. See you next time.